Hey everyone, it's Movie Lover Warren 20 here, and I'm here with another collection video because you notice my VHS shelf is empty. Yeah, that's your hints that you know what kind of collection video this is going to be. This is going to be a VHS collection of all the movies I own on VHS. So, we all remember when we were kids, or like 80s or 90s, or early 2000s kids, or, or even... Or, yeah, if we were around that age, around the 80s, born in an 80s, well, I was born in the late 90s, but if you were born in the 80s, or born in the early 90s, or, or even early 2000s at most, we all remember there was a format you could watch movies on before DVDs were, and Blu-rays and streaming were all a thing. They called them VHSs, where you would watch a film on a cassette tape, when the movie was over, you would rewind it to start it from the beginning if you ever had to watch it again. It was kind of an annoying process, but VHSs were a pretty awesome part of childhood. My childhood. They are so nostalgic, you can't, j just can't ever give them away. Never giving. <laughs> These ones I own, I'm never giving away. They're too nostalgic to keep. They're too nostalgic to get rid of. So, that being said... Let's get started with all these VHS movies I own. So, to start it off, first VHS movie, Spider-Man on VHS, the first one, the original Sam Raimi movie. I used to actually own Spider-Man 2 on VHS, but as a kid, but it kind of got given away, which is that, but I saw this, I was kind of hoping it'd be the second one just to re-add it to my collection, but I found the first one too, and Maybe I'll find the second one at the thrift shop someday. I sure hope I do because if I do, I'm I'm still getting it and adding it to my collection because that VHS tape, a Spider-Man 2, this is the first one on Spider-Man 2. When I owned Spider-Man 2 VHS, it was in a very nostalgic moment in my childhood and I wish I had kept on to it because, but when I find it, I'm going to re-add it to my collection. God, I haven't really watched this one yet, but... Braveheart on VHS. It's a two cassette movie because since it's a three hour movie, AK Mel Gibson's the last good movie he did in a while. Well, what I know, anyways, but I haven't seen it yet. I still have yet to see it. A, a little South Park VHS um, with two episodes called Wake Gay Fourth. 4,000 and Big Gay Al's Big Gay Boat Ride. And I've got Scream on VHS as well. Yeah, sure, glad I found this movie. I technically kind of have this movie on DVD, but I decided to get it on VHS too. It's pretty nostalgic. If you kinda, I think you've seen this one a few times in my videos. I already own this one on DVD, but... What the hell? I want to own it on VHS as well. The Shining. Like you probably already know, I'll know it's my favorite horror movie of all time. Like I've mentioned before. Glad to own this one on VCR. And I remember seeing this at Blockbuster or any video store. This cover would scare me every time I went near it. I would always get... I would. This cover would always scare the absolute crap out of me. Whenever I was at a Blockbuster... I would find this cover everywhere, and you get the story. And of course, I also also already own this one DVD, but South Park, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut on VHS. This was kind of rare to find. Really, kind of don't really find this one anywhere. I mean, it's kind of, well, it was kind of rare for this to be released on VHS, but I found it at the first shop that now shut down, and I bought it. I've now got The Matrix on VHS. Definitely one of my favorite sci-fi flicks of all time. I also own this one on DVD, but I don't care. Really, you can still own this. You can still own this no matter what. I mean, you don't have to own it just on DVD, too. I mean, I got Hitch. One of the last few movies to be released on VHS. Definitely one of Will Smith's funniest movies. I gotta say... Now for these more kiddie, 
Uh, G-rated ones. Monsters, Inc. on VHS. Among Pixar's best films. I consider one of the few films that actually kind of predicted 2020. We got Spy Kids on VHS, the first one. I think this is kind of the only, like, decently tolerable one, to be fair. Yeah. Hunchback of Notre Dame on VHS. Probably one of Disney's most underrated movies. I got the first Spongebob movie on VHS. I've actually had this one since I was a kid. I, this was one of the few I never gave away. Wait, I'm so glad I didn't. That will be one of the last two movies to be released on VHS. Because 2005 is the last year for any movie to be released on VHS, guys. So, sure glad I kept this. Got the Return of Jafar, yes, a crappy directed DVD Disney sequel, but I used to own this one as a kid, so I still have yet to rewatch it, but I've heard it's not very good, so. Well, I don't know why I own this one, but Dunson checks in. Never watched it yet, but just wanted to buy some random VHS movies, so. The first Ice Age on VHS and. Y'all remember when I posted that uh, 20th Century Fox Family Features trailer? That trailer is from this tape, on the opening of this tape. So you want to go check out that family, 20th Century Fox Family Features trailer video? Just go, go check it out. Several users posted, so it may be kind of hard to find. Got A Dark Crystal on VHS. Very fun, but this film would always scare shit out of me every time I watched it as a kid. Like, but still pretty... Still a pretty genius film. Got Oliver and Company on VHS. Haven't seen this movie in years. No, and I also definitely ones I probably are most nostalgic. Toy Story One and Toy Story Two, both on VHS. Actually, when COVID started, I actually rewatched these movies during during the isolation period during the lockdown, first lockdown. And still still great films to this day. Still two of the greatest animated features ever. I do own three, but that does not be that never got a VHS release because VHS was done around the time Toy Story 3 came out and I own that movie on DVD. I don't own Toy Story 4 guys because I didn't really like it. Seeing a, seeing Toy Story 4 once was kind of seeing it just one seeing that one just one time was perfect. Enough. Now, yeah. got the original Charlotte's Web on VHS. I remember watching this in elementary school, during, around like second grade, I think, yeah. On the last day of school. And it's one of those VHSs where it's purchased at McDonald's. Apparently McDonald's did a few VHS movies. They used to, anyways. I got the Brave Little Toaster. On VHS, this is one of the films that inspired Pixar, inspired Toy Story. For those of you that probably don't know, got the first Slant Before Time on VHS. Absolutely, first one I adore the most. Don't really like the sequels. Like, this is probably the only one I really, really enjoy. You know, it's kind of weird, but a Christmas one, a Christmas one, but I have Elf on VHS. I have watched this VHS tape, and, well, I got one of Jim Carrey's funniest films, Burst Almighty on VHS. Definitely watched this one during isolation last year. Yeah, still a funny film to this day. Got Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo on VHS. I find it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Definitely better than the piece of shit sequel, European Gigolo. I got, I got one of my favorite romance movies of all time, Ghost. My Patrick Swayze was definitely Patrick Swayze's best role. Rest in peace to him. Like, this is just a great, phenomenal film. It's very emotional, very heartbreaking, very very dark. I got the extended edition of 
Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers on VCR. It's another two cassette movie. Since it's a long, really like three hour movie. Now for the last few ones. Now, uh, these are some of these I haven't even watched yet. A lot of these I haven't even watched yet, guys. So, Mulahan Drive. Still have yet to watch this movie. I've got The Blair Witch Project on VHS. Well, it's an okay movie for what it was. Professional on VHS, another one of my favorite action movies. I also own this one on DVD, and but I decided to just get this one on VCR too. Definitely one of the greatest action movies of all time. Easily Luke Besson's best movie yet. Got Train Spotting on VHS, and yes, this is also another one of my all time favorite movies of all time. Train Spotting, Train Spotting 2 is also a pretty good sequel. Maybe not as good as the first one, but also a very good sequel nonetheless. Got another one of Jim Carrey's funniest films, Liar Liar. Also a pretty timeless classic. Yes. First American Pie on VHS. I actually have seen this movie before. I'm not really too big of a fan of it. I think it's kind of a little too gross, really. I mean, it gets a little too gross at times, and the characters aren't really likable or funny to me. And I got Monster on VHS. Probably Charlize Theron's greatest performance yet. A role that got her the Academy Award for Best Actress. And it really shows, too. really shows too, I mean, it's definitely my favorite role from her, along with Mad Max Fury Road, so, haven't seen this yet, definitely give this a watch, definitely one of the best performances in cinema. And now for my Star Wars collection, I got, what is, this was a rare one, it was at an antique shop, but I had to get it anyway, the original Star Wars trilogy, the unaltered, the ones, the last time they ever were theatrically released. The theatrical versions. Before they turn them into the extended versions. The last time they ever got a VHS release. One. Last. Time. Star Wars New Hope. Empire Strikes Back. Let me do this. Like, yeah. New Hope. Ugh. Tapes have fallen out. There. there. Empire Strikes Back. My favorite Star Wars movie of all time. And Return of the Jedi. My third favorite. Still a spectacular trilogy to this day. I enjoy it. I mean, I actually did used to own the special editions on VHS when I was a kid, but those also got given away except for one of them. The special edition of Empire Strikes Back was kind of the only one I owned, but I have not rewatched this one. I, but, but these are definitely, but hey, at least the one I didn't lose was the best Star Wars movie. And finally, Star Wars Prequel Episode 1, The Phantom Menace on VHS. I also owned this one as a kid, gave it away, but then I refound it at Valley Village, and I reclaimed it. So, so yeah, like, um, people can hate, people hate the prequels all they want, but I like them for what they are, especially, like, this one, like, this one, I, I mean, sure, this one's not, like, the greatest, but it still has the best, probably some of the best lightsaber duels, like, with Darth Maul. Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan, it's got the pod race, and there's still some, like, fun action sequences, I mean. I mean, I'm not too big of a fan of Jar Jar, but Jar Jar at least has some use. I mean, he actually kind of contributes to the plot, really, I mean. It's kind of how the Grungans and the rest of the galaxy could find peace with each other, in kind of a way, and... Definitely a much more useful character than Rose Tico, I'll give it that. Okay. And with that, that's it for my VHS collection. Hope you all enjoyed, and... Hopefully I'll find some more VHS tapes to add to it over time. But anyway, that will be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to see more, well then don't forget to like and subscribe to Movie Lover 120.